60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl's award-winning career spans more than 40 years. She served as CBS News White House correspondent and moderator of Face the Nation, covering some of the biggest stories at home and abroad. But she says her most important job is grandmother to six-year-old Jordan and three-year-old Chloe. She writes about this role in her New York Times best-selling book, best-selling author that has a nice ring to it, Leslie Stahl, Becoming Grandma, The Joys and Science of the New Grandparenting. It's about to come out in paper book, but Leslie joins us once again at the table to discuss her. Should we say good morning, Lolly? You should say what? good morning, Lolly. Why do they call they you call that? You? That's what they call me, yeah. and I decided that I had to come up with something that would be easy for them to say, so uh -huh. they would call me what I wanted them to call me. So I'm Lolly, and my husband is... Pop and we are lollipop. Oh, oh, lollipop. That's oh, nice. That's <laughs> but it's been a year since you've been on the road and since you've released the book. Are you finding more and more people love talking about this subject, don't oh, they? My goodness. If I go to a book signing or give a talk on it, people raise their hand and want to tell their stories. Most of them are wonderful and happy. Some, you know, yeah. some are not. But generally, people are so thrilled to tell you about their grandchildren, especially if, like me, my, your children make you wait yeah. forever <laughs> and ever, as yeah. Yeah, But did. you also say that this gave you, being a grandparent, gave you a chance to atone <laughs> well, for how you were as a it, it's, it's two things. You would tone because you weren't working mothers. We weren't there en enough. But also, we get to do the things we really didn't do which is just, you know, get on the floor and play with them. If you're, I don't know about you, but when I was a young, when my daughter was young, I'd play with her, but I was also reading my, my research papers over here and playing with her. Grandmothers and grandfathers, undivided attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I was told. I was told back in the day when they did a story about crackberries. Both my kids said, "You better pay attention to that," because I'm thinking, "No, I'm definitely not a crackberry person." Oh, but there you go. The kids, a kids will tomorrow. call you out. Oh, but yeah. you also say, Leslie, it's a great icebreaker. You do some of the biggest, most important interviews, but talking about being a grandparent is a huge icebreaker for. Oh, you. it is. It is. First of all, you and I just had a chat before we went on. Uh huh. And uh, I said, do you have grandchildren? And you said, no. No. And, I, and then you said, <laughs> I want to be a grandmother. Oh, so I said, then it's with my the, deepest desire. Then yes. we, there we were. We were in yes. the conversation. Yes, yes. So people, Indeed. I'm not going to ask either of you, but it, it, <laughs> either you have a grandchild you want to talk about it, or you want to be a grandmother, you want to talk about it. It's or an you want to tell you about your own grandmother. Is, yeah. is how much pressure you put on your kids if you desperately want them. Yeah, but they don't listen to you. It doesn't do any good. It just makes you feel a little better, but they don't listen to us. I thought one of the interesting things you discovered in this book, too, is the studies about the importance of having a grandmother mm -hmm. in your life, and not just in American culture, but, yeah. but across, the, across the world. Well, there have been very few studies, surprisingly, about grandparenting and all of that, but there have been some that say that children who have grandparents in their lives are more confident they don't, they're not as troublesome in school. They do better in school. Um, it's a relationship that gives them a sense of family and history. Um, and kids can confide more easily in their grandparents for some yeah. reason. My than, grandmother was yeah. the most important person in my life beyond my parents. See? By far. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. This is not uncommon. And how many grandparents are raising their grandchildren? You'd be surprised. It's enormous. Yeah. And if they're not doing it full time, they're they're in there as I call them granny nannies. Mm -hmm. Granny nannies. Yeah. Yeah. We've recently started to see pictures of President Trump walking with his grandchildren. Yes. Yes. Do you think that shows a different side to him for a lot of people? I think so. Is and there I getting was, on Marine One or Air Force One? I was so surprised, to be honest, that he didn't do that during the campaign. Uh -huh. I, it would have softened him. Uh, I thought Hillary should have even done more than yeah. she did. People um, have such positive feelings about grandmothers, particularly. If you ask in polls, for example, or focus groups, what do you think of grandmothers? All these just divine, wonderful, warm, cozy words come tumbling out about um, un unconditional love and cookies and warmth and acceptance. Mm -hmm. So the and image... The, the image of grandma has changed, that. too, because it used to be grandma just sat in a rocking chair and rocked and knitted, knitted clothes. But they are really... They're, they're very uh, hot, dare I say. They're also very active. It's a whole different world, I think, for grandmothers. Baby, well, some of them. Some it's of them. baby boomers. It's baby it's boomers. It's baby okay. boomers. And yeah. they're, baby boomers just want to be young and feel healthy and energetic. 
And guess what? Guess what? The average age of the first of a first grandmother oh, is in the United what, States. What, what? You want to try? It's somewhere yeah. in the fifties. Fifty. Fifty. Yeah. And for a man, it's for a grandfather, fifty-four. Yeah. That's young. So that's that's great. really young. Yeah. So Thank you. you're welcome. Thank you. It's Thank all you. changed. Becoming Grandma Pleasure. is out in paperback tomorrow.